Okay, everybody, this is my introduction video of my trip here. I am now in Taoyuan International Airport, and I thought I would do you this intro video to let you know all where I'm going to be going to the different countries and how I'm going to be able to proceed and do this in about six weeks. Um, first of all, one of the things that I do is I always travel light. Um, I always do carry on light luggage. I never check in, for instance, I give you an example, my carry on luggage. I have one carry on luggage Nike bag, as you guys can see here. And this will easily fit into the Air Asia overhead compartment. I don't want to check anything in because I have no risk to be able to take anything. So I put everything that's important, not important here, only clothes. Alright. And then I will do a carry-on bag, a small bag that is about this small here. This dog here, which is usually designed for a smaller bag, only for your valuables only. For instance, your camera. Maybe you put your life small computer inside, it's okay. Your MP3 player. Anything that's valuable, you put it into your small bag. Alright, then you can carry a hip bag. A hip bag is good for your for airlines. A hip bag is designed for, for instance, if you want to put your camera inside or something to eat, or when you're traveling, you're more welcome to your hip bag here. And also, one more bag that you are going to do is a safety bag that I always carry when I'm traveling. Uh, around the world, and that's kind of like a security bag where I'm going to put my passport and my money. It's a small little bag, and you put it around your waist. And it looks kind of like this. So this actually looks like this here, as you guys can see a little bit, and it goes around your particular waist. So I'll sit down. So you can put your passport in here, your airline tickets in here, and your money here. This way, when you're sleeping on the airline, you're perfectly safe because it's next to you. So I never do any check-on when I'm going to jump from one destination to another. Okay, now let's talk about our itinerary. All right, first of all, I go from Taipei to Malaysia to Kuala Lumpur. I will stay there for a few days and see the famous Petronas Towers. And from there, I will go from Malaysia, I will go to uh, Bangkok. Go back to Bangkok. I will stay a, a few days in Bangkok. From Bangkok, I will also go to Pattaya and to Chiang Mai. I'll go to the city of Chiang Mai. Once I leave there, I will go back to KL. Once I go back to KL, I will fly to Bali. I will go to Bali for a few more days in Bali. Once I leave Bali, I go back to KL again, stay another night in Bali, I mean another night in KL, and then from KL I will leave and go to Australia, to Sydney, Australia, uh, to see the famous Sydney Opera House, the famous Bondi Beach, and hopefully the Gold Coast also. It is a bit cold there, so that was the biggest part of my trip, is my cold uh, clothing, but hopefully it's only there for a few days so I'll be able to survive. Once I leave Australia, I will come back to Kuala Lumpur. Once I come back to Kuala Lumpur, then I'm going to the hot area of New Delhi, India. I'm going to go and try and be able to see the famous Taj Mahal, one of the wonders of the world, Taj Mahal. I will be there for a few days. Once I leave India, come back to Malaysia, to the KL. Then I will go another plane and go to Vietnam for a while. So I'm going to Vietnam to a city called Ho Chi Minh City. Right. I've been to Hanoi many times, but I've never been to Ho Chi Minh City, so this will be a good experience for me going to Ho Chi Minh City. Then I will go back to KL, take another plane, and I will go to the Philippines. First of all, I will go to Manila for a few days. After Manila, then I go to the famous place called Bakaroy Island, which a lot of Taiwanese like to go to. And then from Bakaroy Island, go back to, the, to Manila, and I will also travel to the northern part uh, the Philippines, maybe Angeles City also to show you that particular city there. Once I do that, I will fly back to Kuala Lumpur. Once I go back to Kuala Lumpur, I will stay a few more days back in Kuala Lumpur, and then I'll fly back to Thailand, back to Thailand, back to Bangkok. From Bangkok, I will stay a few more days in Bangkok again, and then fly down to where I've lived for four years before I came to Taiwan, is Phuket. I will go to Phuket. 
and I'll show you guys down in Phuket area. Hopefully I'll be able to show you guys PP Island, uh, James Bond, and the adventures of living in Phuket. It's a wonderful place. And then after I spend my last uh, week in Phuket, I will fly back to Taipei. So that will take about, uh, about six weeks or so. Um, I will do the best I can. The videos I send to you guys will be, first of all, a video of travel. And the other one will be a video of uh, basically for educational purposes so you guys can learn a few things that you guys learn in the classroom for the elite students and also be able to get a first hand of real English how to be able to correspond with people in foreign languages. So I hope you enjoy our little trip here. Um, if you have any questions or anything, uh, please just send me a message on Facebook and I'm more than happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, otherwise, take care, and I will see you guys back towards the end of August, and uh, bon voyage. Bye-bye.